Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to the Jiangsu Sun in career mode. And uh, got two games as normal for today. Hornby's up to 25 goals as he got, I think, last episode. We're going to be seeing if we get the QPR job or not. And hopefully, we can just either move clubs or progress at the top of the league. Sorry if you hear anything in the background. It's a fan because it's so hot today and you just kind of need it. So hopefully, you can. It's not too bad. So, yeah. But other than that, uh, if you do enjoy this, please can you drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, so calendar. I'm playing against Guangzhou and Guangs. So I remember that now. Um, so yeah, we're going to be waiting and seeing if when, well, what the response is to the QPR job. Hopefully we get it in this episode. Should do. Uh, but we've got the press conference now. Uh, it looks like you're going top of the table. How would you rate their chances to catch you up to you. Uh, we are the better team. Last time he scored three goals and made it look easy we'd be able to defeat them again. The lads have what it takes. A title tilt is on the cards as you continue to exceed expectations. Does your team have what it takes to keep the momentum going? Our momentum is not dropping. Just keep the morale good. Keep the squad morale good. Um, team I might take out Ren back for Huang because Ren just didn't play that well. Um, I'm looking at what I can do for like our strongest side. Because if we go like that and then go like that, I think that's our strongest side. If I'm wait, he can play centre mid. So I take out Jiao and bring in Soldo. Um, who's he? Where, where can he play? Okay, he, well, if he comes in, um, so that's a oh, set from Huang. Huang's our only player that ain't above um sixty in the whole team, which is what the hell? Striker and centre back. What? You got four star week for the hell? I ain't looked to this guy before. That's <laughs> so weird. Okay. Um <laughs> That's mad. I've never seen that before in any anybody. I know it is a it isn't like a real player, but that's that's still mad. Um and yeah, I think that's all I gotta say. So let's get in to the game. Behind the defenders and on Fine. Side. Inside, Ren, come on! In the 43rd minute, the I know it was a sweaty. Uh oh, I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, that's just what we needed. Okay, yeah, that is half time. Um, I mean that that literally came in the last kick of the half. Um, and subs, I might do one. Who who should I sub? Um. Let me just compare these two stats. Abdu is kind of more well-rounded, so I might bring Abdu on, and then I'm going to take off Soldo because he's not been doing very well. So I'll bring back on Giao, and with that, I think we can get into the second half. Brent, early ball, Giao. Go on, lad. Like second half just started. Jao's literally just come onto the pitch, and the nice little tapping goal. The early ball was good, and yeah, look at the keeper. <laughs> you just celebrating right in front of him. Nice little free ball from Hornby. The drilled pass, and just a nice tap in. Good goal. Hopefully, we won that. Okay, that is game two nil in the end. Um, pretty decent result for us. I mean, the first half we were under the cosh like a lot, but um, to get to get a two 0 win, a convincing win, and keep a clean sheet is quite impressive for us. Um, I think that was one of the harder teams in the league, so it makes sense why we were struggling at the start. 
but yeah, we did end up getting a result. So let's see what the post-match interview says. Despite the win today, Abdi didn't really hit his form. What did mean for future starting player? Um, he can bounce back. Uh, Jiang says, "I'm beaten. Are you confident with the streak rolling? We have what it takes." Chat cheers. Chances of winning were simply expected. Is Um. I knew we'd win. <laughs> Just keep confident. And uh, yeah, let's go back to the menus. No, it says thank you for expressing your interest in the vacant manager position. We've looked at your credentials and references, but unfortunately, we've decided there will be a lot we'll, that will be looking at other candidates. That's a shame. So I mean, the QPR is a no go, I guess. Uh, still just doing these same things. I mean, I. I mean, <laughs> we just have to keep looking. Um, I'll look at the um, end after oh, the end of the episode after this next game. What's this? Another transfer offer for Louis. Reject. He's had so many transfer offers, and like I don't even know why. Uh, I'm surprised. That they, well, am I surprised? I don't know. I'm kind of surprised. We did. We have had. I mean, this is the same account that was with West Ham for two seasons and did very well there and this is a manager that's 89 rated now so I mean it is a bit of a shot but you know we move we've now got the game against Guangs um, team I think we'll go with the same team yeah does that team don't do too badly uh, and yeah we can let's just get into it counter-attack Just runs. Huang. Go on. Huang. Go on, lad. He picks it up from our. I think, yeah, in our half. And he literally just runs, runs, and then slots it home. Very good goal. And hopefully we will win. Okay, half time. Uh, I mean, things weren't good. We just going really kind of average until Huang did that run um, substitutions I don't think any are necessary so yeah I think we can just go straight into the second half clear it just hold your ground, hold your ground uh oh no oh an equaliser okay well it was a very easy goal but we shouldn't be letting them guys get away with running through there but you know uh, we move and uh, let's see if we can get another goal bounce back through horn there horn lad in the 72nd minute manages to reply with a goal and a good goal and I didn't I wasn't sure if he was going to score this episode but of course he does <laughs> Ren Soldo Soldo, 79th minute and now it's 3-1, that's definitely wrapped up the game here, another decent goal, I think that might be Soldo's first goal for the club, which is nice to see, let's go, 3-1 win and it did end up being comfortable in the end, but it was tight when they scored that, uh, their first to make it 1-1, but we did end up closing out the game well. Uh, this post-match interview should be quite kind and then we'll go back to menus and I guess just check on the jobs yeah uh, Jiangsu is unbeaten so far you confident with straight rolling you have what it takes uh, coming into this one you won't bit much between you do you have any doubts you come away with a win we always win uh, do you win again do you think that they played well uh, there's no stopping us and uh, yeah let's go back to the menus okay so uh, we can now check jobs. So then, and then, um, um, yeah, no, Gremio. Uh, yeah, no, not very good. Um, okay. Well, next episode we'll be playing against Dalian and Wuhan. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. If I speak, I'm in trouble. Um, and then 
not too far off the end of the season and then I'll think about if I want to carry on this I'll probably try but I really want to get a move away from this club and if it isn't working then I might have to switch up what we're doing um, but yeah I hope you did enjoy this episode we got two more wins and played quite well so yeah as always like if, well, like if you liked it subscribe if you are new and thanks for watching